That is great news. In fact, uh, more quiet than we'd expect for this time of year. Thanksgiving Day uh, looking good as well. We'll see a lot of sunshine, but it is going to be chilly out there. Highs only in the 20s, but it'll feel colder than that with our breeze that we're going to have in place. And Black Friday, very cold in the morning. A few spots could see single digits for lows. Most uh, will see lows there in the teens, but it will be a nice day as well. Again, during this entire period, we are looking at drier conditions. Here's what we've got for you as we look outdoors. Beautiful. Beautiful shot, beautiful sunset out there. Current conditions right now in Fargo, 32 degrees. It is clear. So again, if you're heading out to the tree lighting, should be nice out there. Again, just make sure you dress appropriately. It will be cooler than we've seen a lot of uh, evenings recently at this time of evening. North Northwest wind five miles per hour, so it feels like 27 right now. Grand Forks. 30 degrees feels like 24 when you factor in that wind out of the northwest at six miles per hour. Beautiful night all across the region. Temperatures just a quick look here. Just about everybody mid 20s, low 30s, 27 Bemidji. My goodness, 28 Detroit Lakes, 30 in Fergus Falls. So we look at our travel conditions again. Notice how dry it is even really a lack of clouds overall across much of the region. Certainly in terms of any precipitation, we are clear right now. We look in our regional airport delays, minimal. In fact, really nothing to show you out there. And even around the country, it is impressive how little issues we have. Now, we do have some rain along the East Coast. That'll move out, move out over the next 12 hours or so. And actually, Wednesday and Thursday, wonderful travel days all across the country. First alert forecast overnight into tomorrow morning. We're going to see our winds turn out of the south. We'll see an increase in cloud cover as well. What that's going to do is... We'll hit our low around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and start to warm things up a little bit. Then tomorrow afternoon, we'll hit our high around 2 o'clock, winds out of the north, and those temperatures will start coming down. So if you're Wednesday, mostly cloudy. As we look at our extended forecast into Thursday, lots of sunshine out there, and that's going to come for your Friday as well. So great news out there again Thursday. Friday, uh, lots of sunshine. Tomorrow afternoon highs. We're going to see only 36 Grand Forks. That cold air, of course, gets there sooner than Fargo, so that allows Fargo to warm up to 46. Wapton 47, Sisseton 51. Uh, Summer put this together. Going to have to show you really quick because of time, but there are several. Several temperatures over the last several years or several times. Mm -hmm. We've seen temperatures in the 50s, even 60s. Here's your forecast for your Thanksgiving Day. I'll show you the 11 day forecast coming up in a little bit, but I do want to let you know 26, mostly sunny, chilly, breezy out there. And again, we'll have your 11 day coming up in a few minutes. Just letting you know, though, we're not going to see any more 50s. That hurts. <laughs> but we'll, we'll be okay with it. We'll get there. Yeah. See, so, what's stressing Americans this holiday season? Cold, inflation, Lots of things. We have some tips to limit stress after the break.